Hello and welcome to a new Raggy's Beers, Wines and Spirits review. You know, that brain's gone. Had a day off yesterday, absolute agony. I don't know what it was, some sort of stomach bug or something. So today, uh, first review of the day, there's going to be a few. Yellowtail's Jammy Red Roux. Now this is a fantastic, slightly sweet red wine. And if you, and if you, if you want to... Uh, experience red wines but you're not really keen on you know diving straight in this is a uh, you know like their Shiraz this is definitely one to try I do apologize for that noise in the background I've got a brew on and uh, it's bubbling like a, a mad one so usual dark in color not quite a full bottle left a uh, full glass left so it is, let's have a look. Twelve percent in volume. Um, so it says here, Jammy Red Roo displays aromas of naturally jammy red berries, vanilla and chocolate. The red wine blend is predominantly Shiraz, 80%, with Cabernet Sauvignon, around about 10%, and a mixed blend of other red varietals. Southeastern Australia Yellowtail. Jammy Red Roo is a bold, expressive red blend and can be served chilled. And uh, just trying to find you a decent review. You can't get any decent reviews on red. So, yeah, it's a sweet wine. And on Vivino.com, it's got a 3.7 out of 5. Um, let's have a look see if there's any half decent reviews because for reviews wine sites are crap um, a wine with aromas to fruits red in the mouth it is doomed good taste and firmness ideal to accompany desserts and blue cheese medium persistence don't agree with that uh, another one certainly the advertised sweet jammy and vibrant a heavy flavour mix a typical Shiraz Aussie cab and port Enjoyable, but felt a little engineered, perhaps a bit too sweet. But around six pound a bottle, the fact it was bold and a bit different, it was respectable enough. Somebody else, sweet, Moorish, fancy assess, yes, yes, yes. So it's very different to other, other red wines, it's definitely more on the sweet side. I can understand where somebody says it's like port, there is a nod to port in that, it's like a lot. Um, less strong as port obviously but um yeah a, a very nice sweet red wine definite red berries in the taste um definite sweet if you don't like sweet you're not going to like this wine which is why some of the comments probably you know are, are, that, are that way inclined good color though I'm getting the whiff from the, the home brew in the background. It's basically it's like a homebrew vodka that you brew up to about 14%, which isn't very good for vodka if you're being honest. But if, if you know somebody who's got a still or whatever, you can get it to you know go higher. But it stinks in the background, and I can smell that over the wine, which is a bit disconcerting. Yeah, very alcoholic smell coming from it. I can't totally distinguish between the two so um, if you like dry wines dry white wines and you don't you know if you don't like sweet stuff you're not gonna like this if you like the wines that are a bit of sweet if you like your port this is a great uh, wine version of port basically it's not massively sweet but it certainly is sweeter than what you'd expect from a red wine Oh, absolutely bob on. I had it the first time a couple of years ago, got it from Tesco's. Tesco's seemed to be the only uh, big shop that I've seen it in anyway. And uh, got it on a uh, buy six, get 25%, and it was on offer as well. So got it for £4.50. £4.50 for a quality one, and, you know, you can't fault it. So out of five, it's not as highly ranked as like the Shiraz and probably the Pinot Noir. 
uh, but it is a nice red wine. So out of five, I'm going to give it that noise. Um, about a 4.3 out of 5. It's very good, but not quite top whack. And certainly jammy. Lives up to its name. Thanks for watching. See you soon.